<laughs> Sorry I haven't been posting a video in a while, but I've been so busy. And let me tell you what I've been up to. Packing. On the 22nd, I'm going to the hospital and have surgery, hopefully. I can have my surgery. And the doctor doesn't say, you gotta lose more weight, you gotta do this, you gotta do that, before we can do the surgery. Hopefully. But I've also been working on wanting to do a book club in the month of January in my neighborhood. So I'm going to go through here and talk about some of the things that I'm going to be giving out and talking about in this book club. When we have our very first meeting, I'm going to talk about doing, I'm going to do a raffle. And I'm going to try to see if I cannot get a $25 gift card for Starbucks. Because I noticed where the old Waterbury used to be here in La Porte, and there was Starbucks there. So, I was thought about um, on a day that my husband's off is have him drop me off at Starbucks, and sometimes we could have our book club meetings at Starbucks. But one of the things I'm going to talk about is some of the sheet pages I'm going to give out. This is called a price book. Okay. And what you're going to do is you would post the date you bought the book, um, what store you bought it at, and over here where it says item, item, item and brand. You don't have to say book because we already know you bought the book. Um, for item is if you bought the book, if I say, um, 10, 7, 22, um, public library and book, if I stay, then you write over here at the very end, how much you paid for the book with taxes. So that's one of the first pages you'll be getting in the book club. The second page you're going to get is called a planning sheet. And what you do is this is a calendar so we can keep track of when we're having our next book club meeting. It's not always going to be at Seabreeze Park. It could be sometimes I would make it at Starbucks or, you know, because a lot of people like coffee and Starbucks. Going there and doing a book club meeting and talking about a book that we're reading will get more people to come into the book club. As well as all the time doing it at, you know, the pier, um, you know, and things like that. So we'll figure some other places because it may get cold. And if it is cold and we do it at Starbucks, it won't be so cold. And there'll be enough to get a coffee with. I will tell you to bring whatever and then get your coffee, sit down, and then we'll discuss the meeting. The next thing is called a shopping list. Books I want to buy, and I wrote that down here. So if we're, somebody says, oh, I'm reading the book if I stay, it's a good book, and you want it, then over here somewhere you write the book if I stay. That way we know what books you want to buy, and unfortunately, yes, you will have a list of books that you would want to buy where you can go to Barnes and Nobles and get that book as well. The next thing is this right here. It's called 39 Books to Read for the Year 2023. And I put the website Goodreads. One side for me is library. The other side is books I own that I have. Whether I read it or not, I'll read it again. And... I'll be coming up with 39 books to read. Right now, I don't know what books that will be, but for next year, we will figure that out. And it says item, so you write down the book, and in the little squares, you could put down how many chapters is in that book, so you know, oh, there's 39 chapters in this book. The next thing is a reading challenge read eight books uh off your reading list 
Okay, here's your reading list. The page I just showed you about, your reading list. Pick off eight books, write them down in here, and that gives you a chance for the year, for the year that you wanted to read these books. When you're done, you can, you can make, you can take this page, because I'm not going to write any books in it. You can take this page if you got a printer and you want to print out a whole bunch of this. Like 30 uh, pages. Go ahead. And you can read eight books. And when you're done, you can say, okay, I read all eight books. And you can put May 22nd of 2023 is when I stopped and I read eight books. You can say for the month of February, you're going to read these eight books in the month of February and try to see what you can read and just put on here, read in the months of whatever month that you read them in. The next one is called Build Your Reading List. Here are eight books to read. I did the same thing, but I picked eight books for you to read. Now, I'm not saying these eight books go there. These are books I'm telling you to read. These you get to pick your own books. So the first book is The Yellow Bird Sings. Then we got Dragon Rider for book two. Book three is 90 Minutes in Heaven. Book four is All That You Leave Behind. Book five is Neon God. And yes, you're going to hear some of this. And you're going to say, huh, she's already talked about the book because they've already read it. Number six is Silent Patient. Number seven is A Secret Garden. And number eight is From the Jump. And I did not like that book, but that book evidently was on my brain. So I decided to put it on there. So that is it for this video. Just stay tuned. Be watching because I will definitely... Be making another video about my book club in the month of January that I'm going to do. I need to figure out a date when to start it and how we're going to do this and hopefully be able to see now. I'm not going to lie, it will be winter time. So that's good. And if you have a book you're reading right now, when I do my first book club meeting, that is fine. I will be packing things that I'm actually going to take to be able to show y'all what we're going to be reading in the book club. And I'll be making folders. And I have a binder here. I'll be making folders. I have a piece of paper that has your name. And I don't need your address. It's just going to be name and phone number. So if I decide that we're not going to have a book club meeting because I am sick that day. I will call and say I am sick when I'm having a meeting, which I should make a hundred copies and have everybody write their name down, but everybody can exchange numbers. So I will call, say if Susie Q, I'm sick today when I have a book club meeting. But if you want to gather everybody up, meet everybody there and let them know I'm still sick, it's fine if you want to call everybody and say, I'm not coming today, I'm sick. Um, you know, that's fine. She can help me out. I will get somebody else in the book club. I'm looking for actually somebody else that would like to help me out in the book club. So if I'm not literally there and I do get sick for any reason or something comes up, then um, we'll go from there as well. I'm not going to pick different Starbucks to do it at. If we have a book club meeting, whatnot, I want to check out that Starbucks and that will be where we will basically go. I'm going to my brother's um, actually next weekend and whatnot, so I definitely will be getting... Um, I might be asking my husband to go by there. There is a Dunkin' Donuts in Deer Park. And I do have coupons on the 15th. They're, they do, they're expired on the 15th, so.
I might talk to him about going there and getting some some Dunkin' Donuts. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this video at that. So, until next time, I hope you have a blessed, wonderful Saturday. And hopefully soon I'll get back to making my regular videos. Until next time, bye, guys.